Welcome into Bruins Overtime Live, presented by buyatoyota.com. For offers not seen on TV, visit buyatoyota.com. Adam Peller and Barry Peterson, the Bruins picking up right where they left off against the Maple Leafs in the postseason last year, winning in overtime. 4-3, your final. What a game tonight here, Barry, and just a nice bounce back for the Bruins. Yeah, it really was, and uh, it, it, it was an important win for so many reasons, but also important because you played the right way. You played aggressive. You were uh, moving your feet a lot more. Your penalty killing was better. Your goaltending was solid. You're playing a really good offensive team, and you shut them down. They only had you know 23 shots. Yes, Matthews' line was starting from that second period into the third was very dangerous and got one late but uh, good job for them to hang in there was a couple of crucial times in the hockey game where things could have gone against them but they hung in there and they got uh, they fought through it and stayed positive there was a lot more energy on the yeah, Bruins most, tonight, something that Jim Montgomery yep, was imploring totally agree. from his team and that's something that they brought to practice yesterday and Brad Marchand had talked about it after the session you know, our, our biggest thing right now is our details, and, and we really kind of focused on that today. Um, trying to be smart with the way that we play with the puck and, and you know, how we work. Um, so we, we did a really good job at that today. Uh, really good tempo to practice. Guys were, were focused and, and uh, sharp, so it was a good day. But, you know, it's one day, and, and we got to build on that and be better each day. And, and, and you know, we, we need that consistency now. It's the old saying, you practice how you play, right? Yeah. That's what the Bruins were able to do yesterday. A lot of talk on the ice, a lot of energy, and it leads to a win tonight. And this is how it ended with a crucial mistake from Austin Matthews, who had tied the game in the third period. Late in the third, a turnover leads to the Bruins' game-winning goal. Yeah, and it was like Rick had said, Matthews was out there so long. That's one of those mental mistakes you make when you're tired. He's thinking there's a D over there somewhere. Someone's going to come back and help him out. But Marchand just stays on him, stays on him, keeps making pressures. And he just kind of throws it off the boards. And here comes Pasta going, oh, are you kidding me? I love this. And then it's just sitting on top. And I think originally we thought, like Rick did, that Pasta got it. But when you see the replay, you can kind of see it laying right on top of uh, Stolarz. And Marchand's able to get it. But there's the giveaway by Matthews who's just obviously tired. He's not going to make those types of mistakes normally, but he's tired because he's been playing a lot. And give the Bruins a lot of credit for hanging in there. Swayman made a save or so right there. Oh, what a save by Stoller. Marchand hits the goal post. Uh, one thing about uh, these two teams, when they get together, they're rather entertaining, aren't they? They are entertaining. And wow. then, you know what? The other thing, too, is, Barry, the Bruins didn't have possession of the puck in the overtime period, right? Not until the last uh, <laughs> yeah. 10 seconds. Not until <laughs> the game winner. You're Brad right. Marchand is our star of the game, presented by Subaru of New England. Fall in love with a brand-new Subaru as Brad Marchand continues to climb up the ranks in Bruins history. Now tied with your guy, Rick Middleton. 402 goals in his career, tied for fourth and just 25 behind. He's looking at his buddy now, isn't he? His captain, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Patrice Bergeron. And so what a time for Brad Marchand to pick up his first goal of the year. Obviously, we had talked about a number of different guys you know, needing to step yep. up, including the leadership group. And Marchand, one of those guys, that's got to feel good for him. Yeah, he needed You could see him how happy he was after he scored the goal, looking up a little bit and kind of get that, hopefully, that, as he would say, that proverbial monkey off your back type of thing. And we knew, as we talked in the pregame, uh, we knew his start was going to be a little slow. He had 36. He had three operations. It's going to take a little bit of time. But you could see it come in the last couple of games where he was starting to win those battles again a little bit in the corner. And I really thought uh, tonight he was able to lead by example with that energy. And, uh, you know, I really it was really important, too, as we heard his comments on that uh, – you know about the practice yesterday it was like you're okay you're starting some good habits that's a practice okay but now it carries over into a game okay now this week it's important to get good practice and get those good habits again your defensive game was much better and as you said earlier the eye test the energy the pace was much better yeah it was and again having the toronto maple yep. leafs in this building probably helped that out it doesn't hurt it gets bit. your attention, it right? It does. It does. David Pasternak with the assist had a power play goal earlier in the game, and Billy Jaffe talked to him. All right, David. Well, the end of the game, a, scram a scramble in front of the net. Take us through that play. You and Brad Marchand right around there. Do you, do, you, do you know for sure who got that goal? I actually have no idea. I know uh, I saw it was laying on the pad, and 
we kind of both had a stick at it. Uh, honestly, you know, I hope uh, it's Marishi and, uh, you know, uh, he made a hell of a save, but way to stay with it. And, and, you know, it's a big game for us. Doesn't matter as long as it went in. It is a big game for you guys. What are you happiest about? What are you most proud about about the effort from that game? Yeah, I, I think uh, the whole game, you know, the effort was there. I think we played well the whole game. You know, listen, they are a hell of a team. They have a lot of skills out there. They tied the game at the end, uh, you know, made a couple of slick plays. Um, that six on five that happens, you know. Obviously, uh, we we would uh, like to close the game down, but, uh, you know, uh, it's good to get uh, uh, on the win- back on the winning streak and, and sometimes... Uh, it takes uh, 65 minutes. So. And lastly, I, listen, I know it's early in the season. We've been talking about it. You've had to listen to it. But this was an important win, wasn't it? I mean, for the attitude, for the energy, for everything, given the fact that even though it's only been a couple of games, things haven't been going great for you guys. 100% the win is uh, very important, you know. But honestly, the more uh, we're going to be looking at is the way we played today. I think we played great. Uh, good team game. Every line was going. And... and uh, you know that sometimes that's that's bigger for the future and building what we are trying to accomplish than the results. But obviously uh, today uh, we we needed that win and uh, happy we got it. Happy you got it too. Thanks for joining us in the post game. Thank you guys. All right. And Barry, you can tell by David Pozbox's yep. answers that this was an important game for them tonight. Well, and what's the coach been talking about? Process, Energy. right? Yep. And, and process. process. Yep. You know, don't get discouraged. Keep working. Keep moving your feet. Win the battles. Get the puck deep. Play above the puck. As uh, we talked with Brick before the game, you be reconnected. Don't be disconnected. Don't have so much gap between you and your teammates. you got to support each other down low, win the battles. It was just, as we had said right from the get-go, uh, the first 10 or 15 minutes, you could just feel it felt different. The fans felt different about the game going on simply because they could see the energy, the emotion, and as the coach likes to talk about, the pace. They were really pushing the puck, taking it to Toronto. And again, if you uh, do not play well defensively, if you turn the puck over, if you have too many gaps, you're going to have a situation. Now all of a sudden you're late in that third period and you're trying to protect a lead. The sacrifice, blocking the shots, which is not easy, getting in front of them. They must have did three or four there, at least at the end of that third period, to keep Toronto out of it. They're getting in front of it again. Just a good job sacrificing. Yes, as Pasta said, it was it was important to play this game, but you know what? That's a little cherry on top to win it as well when you play well as well. You always hear them talking about building their yep. game, and this was a step in building Correct. their game tonight. They end up winning, which is a bonus, but you could see early on they made a commitment, they had more energy, all of the things that you said, and that's something that had been missing over the last eight games. It has been, and I think that's been the frustrating part for the uh, you know, for the entire team and the coaching staff. Everyone's looking at it and you're saying, This is not Bruins hockey. This is not what we're the way we're supposed to play with the intensity, with the team defense. And when there was a breakdown defensively today, Swayman made some big saves again. You know, he was there for his team. But more importantly, it's a step in the right direction. As Marshy said yesterday at practice, it started there, it carried over to the game. Okay. Now it's got to carry over for a few weeks here to get things going. And they faced some adversity. Yeah, they did. A couple times. Because they trailed, right? And as well as they played in that first period, they went down 1-0, then they went down 2-1, and then they responded, and that was huge. And it was Justin Brazzo who tied things up at 2. And this was after the Bruins weren't able to capitalize on a four-minute power play. No, and this is why it was so important, to your point. You know, you start winning some battles. Freddie goes in, takes it behind the net. They get a little bounce off the wall. You see Potter stays on it, Frederick stays on it, and Brazo comes in late and roofs it. At first, from our angle, we're right behind him. I kind of thought he hit the crossbar. Right. We had to watch it twice. But look at Freddie moves his feet. You take him, you're, you know, and look at where Brazo stays high. He's third man. He gets rewarded for being third man high, as we always say. When you stop and you're in a defensive position above the puck, it's amazing how many times offensively, you're in a good position as well. How about Justin Brazzo with goals in back-to-back games and making a difference? And you see that, right? That's what he does. He gets oh, in front of the net. For a big man, he's got such good hands in close, doesn't he, Adam? Yep. He's able to, when you think you got him covered off, he's able to move in tight to his body. He's able to move it around with his body. He's got a really good knack around that net. And you know he likes to play against his Toronto. Yeah, Marlins, that he too, does. Right? He said that, right? Uh, Ontario being yeah. in the organization, playing for the Marlies, and so and the great thing, coming through. The other thing he likes about it, too, is the family's still home 
in Toronto, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Night like tonight, stop buying tickets. Take a look at the numbers <laughs> over the last two games. A couple of goals, a plus one. Five shots on goal in 13 minutes and 20 seconds of ice time. And so Justin Brazo making a difference. And, you know, you talk about uh, the fourth line, right? And, and that was something that, you know, was really good for this team in the previous eight games. That was the one consistent thing, right? Aside from Jeremy Swain between the pipes playing well, uh, you know, he gave up some goals, but it was what was happening in front of them that was leading to those goals. In terms of what the fourth line was doing, Barry, uh, they did more of the same tonight. Yep, they were able to get a, you know, a, a good break right here. Now you're going down three on two. You're getting pucks deep. You're driving to the net. And what a pass by Beecher right here. Castellek standing behind. He one time. He doesn't even look at it. He kind of knows he's there. I'm not sure if he's trying to bank it off the goalie or he just knows he's there. They got a break. Three on two, but important here. Watch Castellek drive toward the net. That takes the... Toronto defense straight back. That gives them some room, and what a pass. And to your point about this line, it's been playing so well right from the get-go. Remember, the coach said, you know what? We've got to start emulating what this line is doing, which is north-south, dump it in, keep the game simple, not get scored against, be a plus line. Wow, what a start for these guys. Well, they're playing to what they want their identity yeah. to be. Good That's point. This fourth line has done as you take a look at the numbers this season. Two goals, four assists, three goals, three assists, three goals, four assists. And look at the plus rating for all three of them. Cole Kepke now back up to plus nine. He took that dip, <laughs> went down to plus nine. He fixed that. You can't tonight. have that stuff. Come no. on, pick and, it up. Well, I mean, he did start out with yeah. a different line. Correct. Last time out, now reunited uh, with the fourth line, all adding up to a Bruins 4-3 win in overtime. we got more to come here on Bruins Overtime Live. Andy Brickley's conversation with head coach Jim Montgomery as we take another look at the game winner, Pasta and the captain connecting. And we are live from our Wasabi studio. We thank Wasabi for their partnership with Nesson here at this beautiful studio overlooking the ice at TD Garden.